My husband Dan Holman and I are missionaries to the preborn Iowa. And uh, right now my husband is in the Oakland County Jail in Pontiac, Michigan. And I just wanted people to know how how he got there. Um, we went to a wedding in, in Michigan. Uh, Jim Sederna, who uh, schedules tours for missionaries to the preborn, got married. And we were leaving uh, the wedding on our way to a cabin that we, we were staying in for the evening. And a, a car pulled up on the left-hand side of us. A woman was driving, and her son was sitting in the passenger seat, and he gave us the finger. And then they started honking their horn um, real loud for a long, long time. And they got in front of us, and they slowed down, and they braked, and they slowed down, and they braked, so that we had to drive about 10 miles an hour on this interstate. And... Uh, um, my husband um, got out of the vans. Sometimes they were in front of us and sometimes they were behind us. But when we stopped at a stoplight, my husband got out of the van and he had a hammer in the van. Uh, it's for our protection because sometimes people try to uh, tear the graphic pictures of aborted babies that we have. They, they like to tear them off. And when we were in Fort Madison, a man was coming, a man who was big was coming to tear the graphic signs off our van. And my husband stepped out with the hammer and he said, told the man, if you step, if you take one more step, I'll smash your toes. And my husband kind of jokes about that. But the hammer is for our protection. And uh, when we were stopped at the stoplight in Michigan, uh, Dan went back to talk to the people who were har harassing us, and he held up the hammer, and then he said, stop harassing us, stop breaking in front of us, trying, stop driving recklessly and trying to cause an accident. My husband gets angry when people use a 2,000-pound weapon to endanger our lives and, and the lives of other people. Well, those people called the police and then they were driving in front of us and they stopped at a stop sign and my husband pulled up behind them to videotape the, the, their license plate. And I, I feel that it should have been us who called the police instead of them who called the police. Well, then um, the a police car came and my husband went to talk to that policeman and about 10 other police cars came and all the lights were flashing behind us and uh, they searched our van and they arrested my husband and they said that I could either, they, they could either impound our vehicle or else I could uh, drive it away and I chose to drive it away. There were some other people there who had stopped who were also missionaries to the preborn, and they went ahead of me and helped me find the, the cabin where we were staying. Um, now my husband is in jail. He's in the Oakland County Jail in Pontiac, Michigan. Um, he's charged with a $50,000 bond because he had another um, warrant against him in Michigan from a year or two ago when the missionaries were there. A girl was trying to spray paint Ronald Brock's vehicle. He has a vehicle that also has the pictures of the graphic signs on it. And my husband was restraining the girl, holding her there until the police came. It's what he calls a citizen's arrest. But the policemen in Michigan say they don't have a law that you can restrain somebody for a citizen's arrest. So those, he's charged with a uh, assault with a weapon and also a concealed weapon and also the, the whatever he was charged with, at, I think the town is called Escanava or something in Michigan. So for those three things that he's charged with, there's a $50,000 bond. And he has an attorney, uh, there's a man named Bob Brown, who's a very famous man, 
who went to the U.S. Supreme Court and won, and he bargained with this attorney who told me that he's pro-life, and uh, he usually charges $200 an hour, but he's only charging us $100 an hour. And my, my husband agreed to use him for the, pre, for the preliminary hearing and the pre-trial and hard, hired him for 20 hours. Uh, that would be a total of $2,000. So far, people gave me $180 for the attorney. Uh, my husband says he has a policy that he never ask anybody for money. So, but he did agree to let this attorney do the pre, the preliminary hearing and the pre-trial. Then he thinks he, maybe he can do it himself, but he's prepared to be in jail for three months. And he did get two men saved or led two men to the Lord the first day that he was in jail. But if people would like to write to my husband, uh, his address is the Oakland County Jail. Uh, his name is Daniel Edward Holman, and the cell location is A4B, and his inmate number is 361460, P.O. Box 436017, Pontiac, Michigan 483. Four, three, and I just ask that people pray, pray for me because it's very stressful um, at a time like this. And pray, we need prayer, I guess, more than anything. And I just wish that some organization would give him legal help that doesn't charge a lot of money, who's uh, interested in free speech rights. And I want to thank you. Thank the leeches for letting me come on eBay.